Now, me and Mr. Bear is heading to the shoreline trail and hope we can find a sea monster or dead dead stuff on the shoreline. What kind of dead stuff you gonna you, you trying to look for? Or maybe or some Those artifacts. Snail. Oh, that's even. Chew them up and hope they don't hurt me. That'd be the best bought buy. Let's see if we can buy that. Raw oyster barnacles? Who needs to go to the oyster bar? We just chew them off the boat and eat them. See? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Yep, we're going to have sand in our underwear now. Damn it. Sand gets everywhere. I made a sunset video right here. Yep. I put a hammock up over there and I had this gentleman walk by and I said, can you jump in there for me? He said, sure. You smell the sand and the seashore. We don't have to go far. We just want to walk around this location. I'm trying to get out the sand. I'm going to have sand in my underwear. Sun rises over there, goes like this, and ends up somewhere is burning the lake up. This was my ARSM video. Beautiful sounds and relaxing station with a sunset in sea breeze and sea noises or whatever you call it remember a couple of videos out here look at all these knots and roots looking for artifacts and sea dead sea stuff oh he forgot his he forgot his shovel and his little bucket. Look at all these knots. Look how all the stuff is just intertwined with one another. How beautiful it is. Thank you. You're saying how beautiful it is. Look. That looks like an artifact or some dead body. It's a bloody tire. So, oh, she, oh, I know what that's for. Those tires came from a playground a million miles from here. No, really, these tires just help to keep the seashore together. It has all kinds of little boats and things in it, and that helps keep the seashore together. So it's not trash, it's to protect the sea, the uh, shoreline from corroding. But that don't belong here, that's been washed up. Imagine you putting a hammock up here, buddy. You should have seen it one morning. 
I was just, I wanted to hang out here, but the ranger came out here and kind of, yeah, yeah. so I knew he was coming, so I didn't bother, but you can sneak out here at night and the sea breeze will come in here all evening. And you will, you will probably freeze to death out here. The sweet sea breeze. Ah, look at that pretty. Look. Ranger, he's coming. I found the diamond. Ooh. I want to find dynamite. <laughs> yeah. It's more fun to put the guy coming. You found diamonds? I want to find a diamond. He wants to find dynamite. Playing on the seashore with bear. We can go further or we can stay up here. The rest of the way is very tall grass or bamboo. The edge you see around the other okay, let's go. Look, see, look, artif an artifact, somebody dirty shirt. Yeah, we could do that. I wonder how much gold washed ashore. Gold, there be gold in the sun. Canning for gold out here? I never, oh, look, a big crab. Poor crab. He got locked in. He got locked in his dungeon. I didn't make it. Die of starvation. One of the eaten by the toxic snails. <laughs> I think a raccoon snapped on him. That's my suspicion. Poor crabby. Maybe one of Boneyard's possums ate him. <laughs> Boneyard. Possums are everywhere. <laughs> Let's find out. Another beach. We got another beach. We got Your this is <laughs> oh my gosh. He just said I should put on my bear bikini. Oh. <laughs> Look at all the diamonds. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, diamonds. Look at all the pretty diamonds. Oh shit, I found out a diamond and just threw it back on the ground. Take a scene to the look of Lake Pudge Train again. Don't you like to breathe and inhale the smell of the lake? <laughs> Fishy seed! It's bare plank. There's a plank in the middle of the woods. So if we wanted to, we can go to that tree right there. That'd be a good camping space. And no one would know we're here. Especially if you ride your bike. Look, it's a bear plank. Bear's been out here playing on a plank. So, what's that bear? You want to go further? Are there ticks in the bushes? Yeah. I just sprayed my ankle. Hey, we sprayed ourselves. I 
like that tree over there. We're going to that one. We're going to the tree. I, I like you. that tree. We're going to stop there, but I want to see that tree. We're going to see the tree. We're going to see the tree. I just say we're going to go see. We can walk to that tree. There's the longest bridge. Well, the second largest bridge now is the causeway. According to Japan or China, they got the largest We're bridge. Right there. Welcome to the jungle! In a few seconds, I'm going to make a live video of us walking back out. Maybe. I don't know. Just to give you a, a quick view that Bear's enjoying his vacation. And I'm being a good host on the coast. See? On the coast. See? Get it? I'm a good host on the coast. I'm bringing him to a tree. Look! It's a plank. What the hell is a plank doing out here? Look, it's from Water Brothers. Wait a minute, I've seen that symbol before. Yeah, it's the Water Brothers. I guess. Alligator nest. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen that symbol before. Any YouTubers? It's Batman. <laughs> Yeah, all my friends always tell me, go first, so if you die, I know when to stop. Yeah, we <laughs> I'm checking for gators and snakes, because we're on both sides. We're at the marsh and the lake, so we're going to get sharks going to come on shore and eat us. And we got skaters. Look, footy prints. Smells like the zoo when there's penguin house. We got footy prints in, in our sand. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Almost forgot how the trail goes. Oh shit. I guess I took the wrong trail, but it's okay. We can always improvise. See, later, as you get further away from the other trails, it's overgrown because uh, no one takes it no more. So it's going to be overgrown. But you will survive going through here. Bear's having a hard time because I, I stuck him. Yeah. As you go further away from civilization, it just, like I said, it gets it gets overgrown. Hey, we buy the tree, and the trail goes on until we get to a bayou. I mean, this thing's tore up like wild pigs been out here. Well, we at the tree. Tree, trail goes on, but he wanted to see this tree. And it's a special tree. I mean, we can go further, but we're going to have to ask. We got to ask Bear if he wants to go further. He's happy. Oh, hey. The kernel. I saw what's around the kernel. I don't know if I want to camp here if I had to camp here. If I had a choice to camp here for free or something, I'd probably say no. You gotta be underneath that bush because the sun is gonna tear you apart. Especially around what uh, 10? I'm sorry, that's about 11. From 11 all the way to there, you will cook your brains. All right, I'm gonna take a short break. It's potty time. <laughs> oh, what's funny? Over here at this little spot. <laughs> I 
That's cool. Steps that lead nowhere. Let's take a look at the sign, see if the sign says anything about. Oh, here you go. Here's a picture you can look at. This sugar mill operation. I don't believe it looked like that back in the day. But then again, all the trees could have been cut out. The sugar mill. That might be it. There's that one and that one. There's that one and that one is over there. So it might be the sugar mill or a picture of a sugar mill. I don't know if that's a picture of this. But if you notice, there's no trees nowhere. So all these trees are new. <laughs> Yeah. Here's another post sign you can read. Oh, Lord, Lord. Would you go swimming in Lake Punch Train? She. <laughs> Not me. I forgot, we can also go to Tickfall. Tickfall is another camp place. I never made a video there, so it'll be the first. Maybe I take Bear there. And we can make our first video together at a place I never made a video. You can see all the dozens of squirrels out here. You can put a little rat trap out here and catch you a couple. I wouldn't recommend it, but uh, if you're hungry for some squirrel, you can put a couple rat traps and some, you know, nut order or something. And let the squirrels eat it and get to get to get to, get themselves trapped. Chick. Poor squirrels. Sometimes when you turn around, you see a different view from what you was walking into. It's always something different when you just turn around and look. You might see something different, a different view. When I used to take thousands of pictures, I turn around all the time so because when the sun rises, it hit the clouds at a certain distance and make clouds look different each time and the clouds move this baby this is not as big as the seven sisters I wish we could go there to the seven sis sisters 
It's supposed to be the world's largest oak tree in the world. And people back in the day used to harvest all these oak trees to make boats and ships and rebuild the cities that burnt down in England. So that's why we don't have a lot of big oak trees out here. These oak trees are about 100 years old or less. They should be bigger than that. But the farmers, and when the cities burned down across seas, they took these old oak trees they had out here, they cut them up, they made boats, put wood on them boats, extra wood in them boats, and they shipped it back to England to rebuild the burnt cities that burnt down. That's why we don't see many oak trees out here that are more than a thousand years old because they cut them all to bring them back to England. So it's, it's, it's very pleasurable to see these oak trees that are at least 100 to 200 years old. But like I said, the Seven Sisters, you can look it up if you like, supposed to be the world's oldest and biggest oak tree anywhere it's called the seven sisters and it's no it's about maybe 20 miles from where we at now i guess one or two things they didn't want to cut it to bring it to england and it's private property but we can see it from the behind the fence it's a beautiful tree i mean it's huge it will dwarf this tree here. Look how big that tree is. To measure the tree, you take a tape and go around it and tells you how many years it's been living. Or you can go from that point to that point and if it says seven feet, 12 inches in a foot, so you measure 12 times seven and it tells you how old that tree is. Or how wide it is. But wrapping it around tells you how many inches it is. And that's how many inches a year. And you can tell how old a tree is. Let's take a look in the back. And you can see, you see, like I said, all the rays going through the mossy parts. So just imagine if, if England didn't burn. And they didn't cut none of the old trees that they had out here. How big they would be today. Like I said, go check out Seven Sisters, the lar world's largest oak tree. Well, maybe the largest oak tree in Louisiana, I guess. Uh, I don't remember what the saying was. I just remember it was the largest oak tree. That looks like something off of Harry Potter. If you really look at this, it looks like a tunnel. I think the uh, forefathers made it where it blows air into the sugar mill. If you notice, there's trees on both sides of this tunnel-like deal that goes all the way to those sugar mill. Just like the plantation oak, oak mill, I think is the name of it. That's a beautiful sight to go see. 200 or 100 or something years old oak trees. Look what he's doing. He's touching it. He might die of tomain poison. Oh, lovely. <laughs> so if you look at these trees, how they put. And they try to bring that breeze in from the lake. To cool down the building. I can feel the heat from here. I smell the ocean too. <laughs> Rough. Look how pretty this is.
How are you taking the view? Well, if I hold my head up like this, it feels like I'm on a boat. You don't even know you're on grass anymore. It's like when you're in the tree. Yeah. It's like I'm on a boat. That's for those who didn't hear. You say, do it again? If you, if you hold your head up and you don't look at the ground at all, it feels just like you're on a boat. In the bayou. Yeah, it feels like I'm on a boat. I don't even know I'm walking on grass anymore. It's like a movie and stuff. You have the best places, Ranger. Well, thank you. I hope you enjoy them as much as you hear. I'm loving this. This is like... This is like Walt Disney World, dude. This is better than Walt Disney. It's you don't have to pay for it. Well, two dollars, wow. Ooh. Look at that. Now remember, turn back and look at the view. Suck that up. Enjoy the view. Look at how the tree is a put. And all the mossy stuff hanging down. Waiting for you to take it off to make pillows back in the 1800s. Just think about it, those people back then used this as bedding, pillows, and other material to stuff in. Boats, boatloads of boats with this material. And it's all right here for you to enjoy. Too bad we don't have to do that no more, or maybe that's good. We don't have to take it off the trees. It's just a fungus, if I'm not mistaken. I can be wrong. Don't you can don't have to quote me. I'm not saying I'm right or wrong. Damn, look at this one. There's like big spider webs up there. Look how thick it is. Let's enjoy this this view. Just look at the trees. Imagine if this was all ramen noodles. Ramen noodles. All ramen noodles. Imagine if this was all ramen noodles. We'd eat forever. Shit. You never starve. It kind of reminds me of ramen. It's all curly. Hey, if you ever need new hair, you could just wear some of this stuff. Let's find out. Well, I need a new hair uh, hairdo. Let's see if it works. For example, I can. We can make this a hairdo, or we can make it a beard. Well, I don't know how to do this, but a beard. And I might. I definitely could kill a goat with that, or a sheep. Then it opens up. Now, Fountain Blue is open uh, from. Eight to nine is like two dollars to get in, but if you can get here early in the morning, it's free, and five thirty in the evening, it's also free. We have this whole field packed with people playing soccer ball. In other countries, that'd be football. All right, we're ready to go to the, uh, what you call the seashore sh trail. But I'm going to stop and drop this off. It's getting too heavy and I'm not used to wearing my belt. My, I'm getting used to it. I got to start wearing it, but it's getting summer, so I got to wear it for, get used to the weight. Hope we don't have to jump this ditch. Might have to walk around. Last time it's full of water. Oh, it's dried. We're saved. Can bear make it? Barely. <laughs> Barely. Those people walking faster than us. <laughs> and they're older. They're kicking their asses. Maybe they're on the concrete. I'll, I'll let that fly.
All right, I'm Ranger Cookie, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Suck that up. Suck it up.